The Solid Signal Podcast is back. It seems like it's been a very, very long time since I was sitting at my desk recording a podcast, even though it's been only one week. But what a week it's been. It's been time for the International Consumer Electronics Show, and I'm sure you've been reading all of our coverage over at blog.solidsignal.com, so I won't go through that too much except to say it's the launching off point for this week's Solid Signal podcast, the subject of which is 4K over-the-air broadcasting. Now, I've been pretty negative about 4K over-the-air broadcasting in the past, and nothing I saw at CES actually changed my mind. And yet, I feel like I need to keep revisiting this subject and why I feel that 4K over-the-air is never, ever going to happen. The Consumer Electronics Show actually had a live demonstration, the first live demonstration ever in the United States, of 4K over-the-air broadcasting on a standard 19.2 megabit channel intended for HD. Now, that's pretty impressive when you realize that they're able to get reasonable 4K quality over a channel that small. Just a few years ago, the prevailing wisdom was that you'd need 50 to 100 megabit in order to get anything close to good quality 4K. I saw the broadcast, and for what it was, it was good. It was very hard to see if it was actually going to be great, and I still contend that anything under 25 megabit, even 50 megabit for 4K, you're leaving something out. You're probably leaving out high dynamic range, for example. But more importantly, it doesn't matter, at least in my opinion. In my opinion, there is never going to be 4K over-the-air broadcasting in this country. And there are two reasons for that. The first, and probably most important, is that people do not want it. People say they want 4K, but what they really want is 4K at the same price as HD. 4K televisions did pretty well last year, but really that's just because prices dropped to ridiculous levels. It was really artificial because when you were talking about these 4K TVs, you were not talking about TVs that really met that Ultra HD premium standard. Even though that standard only came out at CES, it was still kind of common sense before that. The Ultra HD premium standard really just dictates brightness, dynamic range, and the fact that this is a 4K TV in the first place. Those cheap 4K TVs did not have high dynamic range or enough brightness to qualify. And so... I would say demand for 4K is really soft. It's not just because there isn't any 4K content. It's because people really can't tell the difference when you're talking about something that's under 60 to 75 inches, and not everybody is going to put a TV that large in their home. As a matter of fact, the growth area for video of any kind is actually small screens, not large ones. So 4K doesn't make sense. And there's another reason 4K isn't going to take off, and that's really important to look at as well. The government doesn't need it, and private industry doesn't want it. You see, the whole point of the HD transition was to open up channels that could be used for cellular data. Oh, sure, HD and digital broadcasting came along for the ride, but really, the thing that pushed it ahead was the ability to open up those frequencies, which are now used for LTE. Also, it did really kind of bump up sales of televisions, And obviously that's something that television manufacturers want. But keep in mind, there are no television manufacturers in the United States. Vizio comes the closest, and they only assemble the TVs here. They do not make them. And so a bunch of Korean and Chinese and Japanese manufacturers are not going to have a whole lot of pull with the FCC when it comes to trying to provide an economic impetus for 4K broadcasting. So what do we have here? We have consumers who are not willing to pay for new televisions and who certainly aren't going to enjoy the idea of having go through a whole new set of converter boxes and that whole thing in the next couple of years if 4K happens. We have a government that doesn't need the space and isn't going to push this. And we have manufacturers who really don't have the political pull in the United States. Put it all together, folks, and it spells no 4K over-the-air broadcasting. You heard it here first, and you can hold me to that.